guys, it's your boy. We're out here in uh, Nebraska, right? I'm out here in Nebraska, pulled up. I think it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I went, got my shower, got what I needed. You know, I come, come walk across the parking lot. And like always, I hear, yo, hot shot, hot shot. My man right here, right? My man right here. Now let me tell y'all something. Everybody says, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, it's always, I can't do it, right? Listen to this. Hold I would ask my man here what he's driving. Bet you he can't tell you. What are you driving? <laughs> Big ass white truck with <laughs> on it. How long you been driving this? Four days. Four days. How long you had your CDL? 60 days. 60 days. Got his CDL. He's got a 5500, but it's not ready to go. He's seen a guy that was hiring. He don't even know how to shift it. He can't even ship this truck yet. He's out here getting it done. Well, you see who's getting it done. He's telling you who's getting it done, but he's out here making money. And here's the best part. We're in a snowstorm right now. And this man's only been driving a truck for three days. But well, you I'm know from what? from Orlando. I don't own long socks. Right. <laughs> and from Orlando, he ain't even got no socks. But you know what I'm saying? You guys, you start wherever you can. Start wherever you can. Now, so if, if there's somebody watching this, you know what I mean, that watches my channel or other channel, what would you tell them? I'm just gonna say uh, Dave is an inspiration, but it takes it takes you. You gotta go out there and do it. I love Dave. I saw his truck out here and I ran up to him and I said, it's your boy. So I've learned a lot from YouTube, of course, but it takes, it takes self-determination. Go out there, look, I'm from Orlando. I get emotional, man, I'm blessed. I'm in the middle of Nebraska in a snowstorm with a $100,000 rig, whatever, and I, and I met another angel from the sky, Dave. So Dave can do all he can on YouTube, but it takes you to do it. Trust me, if I could do it, I'm, I, I, you can do it. So I'm not making a million dollars, but I'm learning, I'm paying my dues. And when this Corona stuff is away and it will go away, I'm gonna be in a better location, a better position so that I can make a little bit more power moves. Thank you, Dave. What were you doing before this? I sold timeshares for Mickey Mouse at Disneyland. Mickey Mouse timeshares. <laughs> I'm in a suit and tie. He, suit and tie. He ain't in no suit and tie in here. How'd you get it's your CDL? It's all the hustle, baby. How'd you get your CDL? Uh, Where'd you go? You know what? There's a school out of Orlando. I don't have the name of it right now, but I got my CDL, uh, the permits, in less than 14 days. I got my CDL all the way with all the exemptions and less than 40 days and I spent less than 1200 bucks. Now do you owe them any money? Oh no, no, no school, no nothing. YouTube videos and the school, the school pretty much just allowed me to use the rig in a parking lot. But I went to uh, the CDL, I'm sorry, the DMV, I got my permits. They were not that hard. The general knowledge is the hardest one. Once you pass the general knowledge, the rest is pretty much little parts of the general knowledge. You know, your air brakes, you get a couple of numbers you have to know. And when you're driving the truck in the parking lot, there's guys, if you search, you hustle, you will find, you know, don't pay those three, four thousand dollar schools. I call those schools and like, you can't find a job, you can't find a job. I don't need a job. I want to buy my own rig. So there's a lot of BS out there. If you want to do this, you can do this, trust me. Um, I got it, man. And it's just about, not taking no for an answer. This is sales, man. So I got the CD on. I went, I gotta be honest, I went to go take the CD on test the first time, flunked it. They saw it and graduate from anywhere. I feel they nitpicked the crap out of me. 90% of the people fail the first time though. So I went back. I failed mine. I went back like, you're not gonna fail me this time. I can tell you every nut, every boat on this semi. I barely know how to drive it. But I can tell you my pre-trip inspection, you know, it's no illegal welds. The boats are there and clear. All the wires are probably safe to try. Ask him how to shift it. Uh, <laughs> you want to show him my little cheat sheet? He's got a little note up on the dash. And he's hitting a splitter. He said, you know how to use this? It's great, man. So look, you don't need no experience. Well, you should have experience, but you don't need no experience. But when you called for your bought your truck, you called for your insurance. How much did they tell you? 
So for my 5500, I have a uh, 2004 to 5500. I'm getting a transmission to go right now, so that's why another. With no trailer. No, no tra trailer yet. I haven't decided. That's why. Uh, to make a long story short, I wanted to get into car hauling. That's why I hooked up with Dave's channel. Um, I was quoted thirty-two thousand dollars a year for my thirty-two grand. Fourteen. Thirty-two thousand dollars. Two thousand fourteen, fifty-five hundred Ram with a, a Kaufman Mini Five trailer. So that's what I was quoted, and I said, uh, this opportunity showed up from God. I jumped on it, and I'm in the freaking middle of Nebraska in a snowstorm from Orlando with little girly socks on. So. <laughs> he ain't got no socks. He ain't got no long socks. But, all right, guys, so that's one. He says if you can do it, you can do it. Amen. So, um, it's your boy. Your boy. Blessings. Have a safe trip, Here's man. I'm on my way to Connecticut. All right, guys. All right, buddy. Call me. All right. So we got to get on up to Utah. Over to Utah. Um, Should have been going by now, but my man stopped it. So see that? Anything's possible, man. If you work hard, you can get it done. Like he said, just don't take no for an answer. But I got to get on up the road. Got some cars to deliver. Check that out. Woo -hoo. There he goes. Hey, I've been in the snow for a long time. But alright guys, let me get on up the road. I'll uh I don't know we may go live or I'll see you when I see you. Peace.